Hey, good morning. Chris here with Jarvis Outdoors. If you've ever worried about your RV's water hose freezing, check this video out. So we have our 25 foot uh, Camco RV water hose. Uh, Camco's part number on it is 22911-A if you wanna pick it up. So we'll just open up the box and show you what it uh, came with. Obviously the 25 foot hose, uh, the instructions are down there in the bottom. And then it came with these two uh, pipe insulators, foam pipe insulators that you can slip over the ends of the hose um, to help um, insulate the connections. And the last thing that it came with is this uh, threaded double male adapter, uh, standard hose connection. Um, and what that allows you to do is it gives you some flexibility so you can screw it in to either end of the hose into the female uh, connection on either end of the hose. That way you can hook it up um, on either end. So if your hose connection is um, you know, further away or, or, you know, actually it would be more uh, determined on where your uh, 120 volt plug is uh, to what end you hook it up to. So really nice that they send this, gives you the flexibility. So let's take you out uh, to the camper and we'll hook it up and show you how it all works. Hey, so we're back out here at the camper and we're gonna go ahead and get our 25 foot heated uh, RV water hose by Camco hooked up. Uh, and as you saw in the unboxing, I think Camco really thought it through. Um, they provided the foam uh, pipe insulators to cover the connections at the end. And then they also provided this double male uh, connection, which will allow you to pick which other, whichever female connection you'd like and allow you the flexibility to hook up um, at whichever end. So, and where that comes into play is basically with this power cord, Camco recommends not using an extension cord and always plugging into a 120 volt GFCI protected outlet. And that's a, a ground fault protected outlet. Uh, and that's just basically for safety. You got water and electricity, so they wanna be safe. So you may be able to plug in at the pedestal. A lot of uh, RV parks uh, have 120 volt GFCI outlets within, uh, this is about a seven foot uh, cable here within that uh, distance. So you can plug in right at the pedestal. Uh, or you may be able to plug into your unit and, um, and, and just hook up the other end with the thermostat and that leave, leaves this thermostat out in the open. So uh, one of the concerns with the thermostat uh, is it operates at 40 degrees. So in some uh, units, the, the water connection is inside a compartment. And whether you access that through a hole in the side or some units come up through the bottom, if this thermostat is inside, uh, it might not operate properly. It might take uh, more than, uh, you know, the temperatures to drop below freezing even more to kick this on because this will kick on at 40 degrees. So you may ask why you might need this. Well, perfect example. I'm shooting this video yesterday. It was almost 70 degrees. Uh, we have sleet and some snow flurries right now. Uh, we're getting ready to go camping. Uh, next week's our first trip. We're going to get the camper uncovered here in the next day or so and load it up and be ready to go and this crazy spring weather you never know when the evening temperatures are going to drop below freezing so uh, tomorrow uh, morning we're looking at wind chills in the teens so this is a perfect example so this hose is uh, bpa and lead free it operates up to negative uh, 20 degrees fahrenheit so uh, unless you're camping in really really cold conditions this is going to be perfect for pretty much any uh, camping situation so uh, the way it hooks up and the way we're going to hook it up um, we're going to keep the thermostat at the unit because our connection is on the outside of the camper. And then we're going to hook up at the pedestal with our other, uh, our female connection and our 120 volt power outlet. So, um, I'll show you real quick how we hook it, how I'm going to hook it up. And, um, one of the tips I saw and read is 
pick up one of these 90 degree brass uh, water connection elbows uh, made by Camco as well. And that takes, uh, with this flush mount connection, that takes the tension off of the, uh, the, the water connection here. If this was full of water, it would be pulling down and you'd have tension here. And it just helps, uh, you know, help protect that. You don't want to break it. It's just plastic. Um, so how this works is we'll, uh, I'll thread this into the hose or the adapter, the 90 degree elbow, thread the adapter into that. And then I'll thread this into our water connection, our city water connection here on the camper. Very easy, just screws in. And then carefully here, thread this on. Tighten everything up. Now we're ready to go to our pedestal. So when we get to our pedestal, one of the things I wanna recommend is always using a water pressure regulator. Uh, you never know what the pressures are coming from the pedestal and uh, you don't wanna take a chance on blowing one of your water lines. So hook this to the pedestal and then you can go ahead and hook your heated water hose up. And like I said, we're not at the campground, we're just getting ready to go, but just wanted to simulate this for you and get the video out. So you can hook this in, turn the water valve on, get water running through uh, the hose, and then go ahead and plug into your 120 volt uh, GFCI outlet. You can directly plug into this crazy weather. So perfect example of why you need this hose if you're out camping. So. Um, it's a great product. I think we're really going to enjoy it. Uh, you know, it's going to give us a little peace of mind. It's cheap insurance. It's about, I think it was 75 or $80. Um, and you know, it'll just keep you camping without having the issue. So one other thing is just remember to slide your, your, uh, foam pipe insulators up as high as you can to pr protect the connections. So, and, um, you should be good to go. So, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video um, and hit the little notification bell if you'd like to be notified when we upload new content. Um, I'll put links in the description uh, below to all these products, the 25 foot hose, the water pressure regulator and the 90 degree elbow. I think they kind of need to go all together and you may already have the elbow and the pressure regulator and just need the hose. So I'll put uh, Amazon links um, in the description to bl below check those out so really appreciate you watching and we'll keep trying to bring you new content so uh camping season coming get out there and enjoy everybody stay safe